to Let's Play Dot Hack GU Last Recode. Last time we got into the Forest of Pain, and today we progress further into it. Yeah. Not much to really say about that. Open five treasures. Well, that should be pretty easy. We've been finding treasure like crazy in here. That's why my equipment is like... Okay, it's not near 90, but still, I thought it was. <clears throat> That's what counts, right? We also have a new enemy, I think, here called the Gaze Knight. Ow. <coughs> we also have some beefed up carries. In fact, I think the Gaze Knight isn't new, per se. But this is one that's been beefed up, so. Because we couldn't think of anything better than to use the same enemy. Uh, oh, these things are also weak to Broadsword. I guess we'll be using our Broadsword a while. This is not called Broadsword. What the heck is this thing called? No, Broadsword. Okay. I guess I was lying. Um, Rengeki? Thank you. What? I did it the second I heard it. Okay, I'll do it again. <coughs> Thank you, Andrens. Definitely good to have. Alright. Uh, revival medicine. Except we have 99 of them, so... Yeah. Oh, King Jim. I think that's like our third one. And now we have 950 shim. That's quite a lot. <clears throat> Vigor crystals. They're pretty cool, except the HP regeneration is really, really, really slow. And in fact, it does, it's, you have a natural HP regeneration anyway. Actually, no, you have a natural SP regeneration. Which I'm augmenting with the uh, thing on Shino. And as you can see, it's keeping her SP up quite a lot. We could do Avatar Awakening here, but there's only like two enemies. And they're both almost dead, so... He's charmed, so he's just going to stand there and take it. <clears throat> Little congested this morning, but not nothing too serious, so... I can definitely keep playing. Got a load stone. So we're 143 right now. Max is 150 in this game. I have to assume volume 4's max is 200. Being level 200 will be very strange. If I remember correctly, we need hit 145 for that one accessory. The rapid super belt, yeah. Alright. And we're just gonna keep using this broadsword because it's pretty powerful. Also, Avatar Awakening. Doesn't do very much because everything has armor on it, but hey. It does break through that armor, so... Works all right. <coughs> yep, gotta keep energy levels kind of mid today because of the fact that we still have 75 floors of this to traverse. So, in fact, I still don't know even with three hours if we'll be able to get through it all, but we will do our best. <coughs> <coughs> Well, he died before I could bring Geki. Or she. She died. Uh, hey. I was just thinking to myself that we hadn't seen any chests and that was going to make the thing pretty hard to achieve. 
when, lo and behold, chests appear. Imperial and stuff. Nothing super great yet. I keep pressing X as if it's going to open the map like I'm still playing Dragon Quest. Swinging scythe thingies. Guillotine things. I don't know what to call them. Is it? And that should definitely get the other one out of its armor. Cool. I'm not cool with the uh, fact that they counter with the SP poison. Well, I mean, that was like two Rengekis in a row. That was not happening. We already have our morale back up, though. Come to think of it. That is still leveling. I have to assume my broadsword level is getting up there. Yeah, we're already at half. So we're almost level 10. <clears throat> Hopefully that'll give me something new instead of Bone Crusher. To just kill things with all the time. And yeah, these are just normal chims. I don't know why I'm bothering. Alright. Um, I keep pressing X. Uh, let's go this way. So, how many chests have I opened so far? Yeah, it doesn't say. But it does tell you, um, if you've achieved it, so. I'll just keep checking on it anytime I find a chest, I suppose. Pretty sure we've gotten two so far, though. And we're now on block 27. Ooh, one of these rooms. <coughs> They're more annoying than anything because your uh, AI can't really figure out how to get through it alive. So. Oh wait, there are two medium enemies. Yeah. Get up, get up, get up. Okay. Almost missed that. And now he's charmed, which means he's just gonna stand there until we kill him. <clears throat> I, I was waiting for Entrance to just kinda smack him, because I knew that was gonna trigger our uh, Rangaki. I didn't say it was almost level 144. Yep, that's our third box. And this is a trap box. X is there. Hmm, a gun. Cool. If we had, you know, Matsu or Kun here, then that'd be useful. But we don't, so. I have to assume our friendship with Entrance is getting, like, almost maxed. Which is a shame, because that means I'll be doing less for Ngekis after this. But. Then again, maybe I'm doing too many. And level up. <clears throat> Sadly, unlike uh, something like Dragon Quest, um, leveling does not put you back to max. Oh, and I believe that's five. Yep. Cool. Alright. In that case, we can just rush for the ending now. So that's kind of what I was already doing. <clears throat> I see a green thing over here. Oh, wait. This is a trap room. Uh... I don't think I see anything past them, so we're going to ignore it. Her health is, uh, pretty low. Why don't you heal yourself? Oh, 
This is the way to block 28. Nice. Okay. I wonder if we get a platform rest like... Nope. You get one in the entirety of the Force of Pain, so we count. That's, uh, that's pretty cruel, actually. I don't know. I decided to check the status again, even though we only just did. Uh, that's new. I don't know what the crap it is. Death Kettle. I think the last time we saw one of these, it was a different color. But, uh, don't quote me on that. Actually, uh, I wanna check... Three. Okay. Nope. Endurance is probably still gonna be with us until, like, halfway through. I wonder if a death kettle counts as a medium enemy? That was interesting. Ow. Evil Cal. Berserk Earthball. Win Jijo. We did pick up a Wrath White, but of course, um, these are way weaker than Salad, so. Am I pronouncing that right? Don't even know. Well, uh, time to find out, I guess. One, two, three. Okay, so that counts as a small enemy. Good to know. Still, three virus cores isn't too bad. Especially considering we've we've gotten enough to get all the weapons now. We're just kind of uh, doing it for damage at this point. But, you know, we could hit 999 virus cores. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be special? I wonder if I can still use them in the fourth game. That's, that's the other thing. That's like our fourth king gem gem in the forest. So if you're farming for these, uh, I guess this is a good place to find them. There's probably easier methods, though. Like going to fields and stuff, I don't know. But... We now have 998... 998 chims, though. So we're all, we're almost maxed out. Um, it's like three death kettles. Yep, they are. Definitely small enemies, though. Because you can't see a group of three mediums. That'd be six fire scores. would be insane. Literally everything in these blocks has been weak to Broadsword, though. I don't know if I'm okay with that. I mean, like, I need to level it, so... I just don't like the way Broadsword plays. Oh, Endurance at level 144 at some point. And Shino's almost there as well. Sadly, we probably won't be hitting 145 before the next set of blocks, because, uh, you know... Nothing's really giving us much experience for that now, are they? <clears throat> it's funny that they even post a level recommendation for this, considering you'll just gain 10, 20 levels in a row. You're almost guaranteed to exit the Forest of Pain with 150, so... Yeah, just kill them. I was getting tired of their nonsense. Uh, yeah, we're just still doing fun. More spirit crystals? Always a good thing. I think I've got one for Adelie. 
Uh, Sakuba is already wearing one. I, I guess I could give one to Gaspard. There's no reason not to. Uh, let's see. Those are the only Harvest Clerics slash Shadow Warlocks we actually know. Also, is this 29? It is. Okay, cool. And those are enemies that are probably not weak to broadswords. Bowler heads. I also missed the surprise attack. Sadness. Granted, I don't expect to S rank this because that would require fighting every single enemy in here and that would make me go crazy. But. I'm just looking to clear the dang thing. Also, they are totally weak to broadsword. <sighs> Getting there. Alright, let's see. Arena is still easily the best, though. You put quick charge on and then just counter everyone's arts. In fact, it'd probably be best if you went in with Haseo alone, so that way, um... You know who they're targeting at all times, and no one else kills them by accident. Okay, I don't think... The lizards are ever weak to broadswords, so we shouldn't need to worry about that. In fact, I'm going to try and make sure Endrance is attacking it. Cool. Lotus Flower. Alright. Finally can use a cooler weapon. Ow. And switch back. Oh well. It was worth it for that small moment. 51? Uh, it's not awful. Considering we need a thousand level. And we are now maxed out on chims. So I can probably stop kicking those now. Except for the fact that it's data. And I could potentially open up a, um, king. Well, he didn't go flying very far now, did he? I wonder if these count as medium. I haven't seen more than two of them in a group. Probably gonna have to wait until the next one, because they'll die before I hit max, uh, yeah. Oh good, he has the SP poison as a counter too. I've also noticed that um, Endurance has run out of SP. It's not too bad though. The problem is when Shino gets that status. Seems to be everything in here. I know I just said I would still kick those things, but honestly, nah. And block 130, or Man, that would, that would truly make the Forest of Pain just the longest post-game dungeon ever. Restoring drops. Cool. Well, probably not. I'm sure they're longer, but it has taken us quite a while to get through this, so... Teleporter. What the heck is going on? Oh, we're. Is this indigo at Lou? It, it is. What are we doing here? Oh. <clears throat> I have been waiting for you, chosen ones of Fosset, waiting for those who bear the judge's symbol. But this is the end. You will never come before Lord Cernunos. Cernunos? 
I can't remember how to pronounce it already. So does our Lord decree. Come forth, great shadow! Smash them to bits! Well, that's a thing. That's gross. I also forgot to heal everyone. Oh, we we got to max before the fight. Cool. And this is the Dark Lord Shade, the boss of Block Thirty. Oh, jeez. Okay. Wonder if you can Rengeki him. I definitely should try and remember to dodge that instead of... Ow. Oh, he just healed himself and upped his attack. That is really hard to dodge, especially with the wrong weapon. Doesn't have a weakness. Alright, we're going with this then. Because it keeps me healed. That dodge doesn't work very well. Ow. Okay, enough of this. Let's Awakening. We'll even watch it, just because it's cool. I'm letting you hear the vibration so you can feel it like I do. I don't know. Yeah, blocking that's pointless. So I'm probably better off just attacking him as much as possible. He's almost dead, so. Except for the fact that he just healed himself. Nice. Good full heal. <coughs> this is just more annoying than anything. <laughs> Being constantly knocked back like that. But we've got him. Oh, he went Rangeki at the final second, too. What a... What a <laughs> we got the Pure Medallion. I have no idea what that does. Also, 25,000 gold, in case you cared. Everyone cares about the gold in this game. It's not like you end with a billion of it. I'm surprised. I did not think you could defeat that shadow. You have my compliments, but you will regret this soon enough. You should have turned back here. <laughs> well, alright then. And we're back to Hidden Forbidden Sin Realm. Thankfully, full healed. Um, I think it was north that we needed to go. Yes, I was correct. Okay, uh, let's see. Still three. Alrighty. Hmm. 
Well, um, since we're fully healed, <clears throat> there's no reason to delay. Let's keep moving. Into block 31. Perform a 65 hit combo. Okay, well, we're definitely not doing that with Scythe. So let's, uh, let's change our equipment up here. A 65 hit combo could actually be a little tricky, but we'll see what we can do. Just remember not to run Geki. Azul Sachem. Dang it, he didn't survive. We've got a pretty combo heavy party here, so... This shouldn't be too difficult. I just need to find something that'll survive all the hits. Actually... Um, it might be because of Empty Skies is mortal, so let's put on the uh, Soul Drake. It reduce his attack a lot. Yeah, might as well. Just gotta hit that 65, you know. I don't suppose it counted. Nope. Okay. Just checking. Alrighty. Was this a hold and release? Well, I'll never know because I'll, we'll just keep getting knocked back over and over. No, this was uh, one of those, okay. This is probably also the best kind of weapon for that. Dang it! 62! Ah, <sighs> <sighs> damn it. I did give him his weakest weapon, right? Yeah, totally did. Okay. Just making sure. I definitely wish I had a weaker set of dual blades for uh, Haseo here, though. Because his attack is just uh, way too high. Do I have, like, a cursed weapon or something I can use? Or, like, a um, cursed customize option? Nope, just lodestone. <laughs> Um, okay. That actually has a pretty interesting ability to it, though. I need to look into that more. Alright. Well, we'll just keep going. Oh, uh, Flying Fish. Oh, I need to make it so he stops using skills. Um.
Perfect. Yeah, that was the issue. He was he was hitting too hard because he was skill. And 65. Okay, now we have to set everything back to normal. Okay, so that's the way you do the 65 hit combo. Hopefully we don't have to do like 100 or my thumb's gonna fall off. Uh, let's see, Seductive Rose. And Strategy, both set back to free will. Okay, awesome. Yeah, well, all that's left now is to just get to the end. Of this set, anyway. I think the most important piece is to set it to tenacity and not to be using these dual blades. Because they are a bit broken. Also. You can do that. Weak to sight there. There okay. Works for me. And he's weak to dual blades. We're almost uh, level 9 with scythe, so... Sometimes it hits them when they're dead, and sometimes it doesn't. It's really inconsistent and kind of annoying. Uh, let's wait until we put the chims in. Yeah, that used up 15. I definitely need more. Boom. You don't get that many if it's only blues. Uh, there's one there, and there's one there. I... I think it's this way, because it's always the one to the left. There are four. Okay. Well, I lied. Um, and that's just a dead end. When did I get a speed up? Okay, well, that's fine by me. Oh, shit. Did not see them over there until it was a little too late. Oh, it's the tech mask. Okay. Got him. The fact that they keep countering with seal is really irritating. Because it's turning off my ring duckies. And I'm not cool with that. Naja Mercury. 140. Venom counter. Yeah. Uh, we could do that. And then put on the... um. Oh. It's one of these. This one, bigger. The Vigor Mercury. Awesome. Got a bit of an upgrade. Hopefully Haseo will die less. Uh, what is the thing at the very bottom? Oh, it's a monarch. Okay. 
Cool. I'm almost to that, so... I mean, you know. The Mercury will be good for a little bit, though. Considering we're only gaining, like, um... 50 experience per battle on average. I hope it's this way. Guys, stop dying back there. Oh, okay. Why XBA? That that one was a little confusing. Okay. Um. I'll BS. Oh. Well. She's had to use Rip Finn a lot. Did I just from Geki the same thing like twice in a row? Sweet. Right. <clears throat> Berserk Water Ball. Okay, well, let's open the thing and then kick the flower. Was this block 131? Or, 31. Why do I keep thinking it's 100? Because I'm thinking of Tartarus, probably. No, that was 33, actually. We're on 34. We're almost to 35. Okay, cool. Further than I thought. But not as far as I would hope. <laughs> it, mm, mm, mm. There's... No escaping these guys. Just screw them. Long lived. It's been a while since we've seen one of these. Bone Crusher, eh? Okay. And we went right back to Bronze At least we're getting a variety, though. Hmm, I had a speed down, and now I have a speed up. Thank you. I almost used it until I realized the long lived died. Hey, weapon level. And it did nothing. Well, I guess I wasn't expecting too much at level 9, but come on. I need a bone at some point. A cowl. She's wearing a cowl, right? Yeah. It's dispelling cowl. Okay. Like, I have a better piece of light armor, but I want to give it to freaking Coon. Uh, turn around. Twenty-eight, fourteen. Not bad. Not bad. How much is uh? It's like halfway. I still have no idea what gives it experience, though. Is it killing enemies? Because it's definitely not by use. Huh. 
I say it was almost 145. And then we can get him a couple of upgrades to both his armor and his um other thing. Accessory. So Well screw that one up. It's an old friend, the Tetrafoot. Now more annoying. One more battle like that, and we'll have it. I also probably should have noticed this was a dead end. But hey. Another trap room. They're pretty obvious because of that green orb. Alright, before we kick the floor, I should probably get rid of these two. It doesn't seem like the Tetrafoot has a counter on him. Which is good for me. Granted, he does explode. The Absorb Monarch gives him a couple more things and also a bit less magic damage. Also a lot less HP. Uh, I don't know if I'm okay with that, but we'll see what happens. And the Rapid Super Belt. Surprised I haven't run into any Chim Assassins in a while. And for doing that nonsense, we get 20 Restoring Rain. Very nice. Right next up is a boss. It's a, it's a giant owl. I'm playing Owl Boy again, I guess. Alright, so the Sorcerer Owl. His weakness is his avatar weakenings. No, but seriously. <clears throat> Can't be charmed. I mean, I, that, that makes sense, right? He doesn't take that much damage. Uh, oh, Twin Blades. Sweet. Holy crap, okay. He's actually a little tough. Also, his spells really, really hurt. She knows that SP was getting a little low there for comfort. The fact that he has that SP poison thing as a counter too is kind of annoying. Oh. Oh, she doesn't have a... Uh, okay, give me a second. I have this. Okay, we're good now. In fact, we can do this and finish him off. <clears throat> Alrighty. 
Well, I got a, a tad dicey. But we did it. Four. Almost there. And then we can switch in someone besides Andrews. Meanwhile, uh, Shino's still super cold to us. But I think she had, like, an item. No, I guess not. I must have already gotten it. Okay. Well, let's save and uh, heal, because holy crap, that used up so much of my stuff. Luckily, we have 99 healing potions, so... And, uh, do I have anything besides Noble Drops? I have Fairy Drops, I guess. And Elven Drops, but we're not using those. <laughs> um, Sprite Rain. Eh. Engine's gonna live with, like, 100 SP, right? Let's go! Alright, next set of blocks. Perform 15 skill triggers. Well, that's going to be super easy. Oh. Medic jump clogs. That's actually kind of good. I also was not paying attention to the fact that there were enemies in here. So we have a Vaxin and a, um, a Druk. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Paralyzed counter. Okay, that's, this is gonna be annoying. One. Once we finish with the Forest of Pain, we'll trivialize our way through the, uh, Lost Weapon Trials. This appears to be a dead end. I guess I should probably just spam skills a little bit. But at the same time, especially like when it's enemies like this, it shouldn't be too hard to get Rengekis. The only problem is the paralyzed counter. Which these have too. No, we should be fine.
Yeah, I, I thought he ran himself into that guillotine. I wasn't sure, though. <laughs> uh, actually, let's switch yours. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, I can do this. Oh, that's a ruse then. I didn't even notice they changed elements. We can keep everyone's SP up a little bit. How much gems do I have? Oh. Okay. Trap box! Whoa, those are freaking SMGs! Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got an item. Um, It was called. Pure Medallion. Recover all HP by 350 infinite uses. What? <laughs> that is just infinite healing potions? Well, in that case, that means I should burn through my healing potions even faster now. Because now I have just an infinite supply of them. That's really good. I'm glad I remembered to look at that. I am actually noticing like the half HP thing I'm doing occasionally. Like to him. His his HP just disappeared. Oh. Um I think No, he he has a dispel, but he wants the holy. Problem is, I don't want to give him the holy. So, cool. <laughs> Had to test it. So that means that a battle, you can just heal yourself to max HP all the time. That's pretty good. That's extremely good, actually. It's just not, that's not just pretty good. That's actually really broken. I kind of don't want to use it on these two. Also, this is a Hell Vulture. Except white. Because I'm pretty sure that was the name of the last guy. Oh, 
Hmm. Up B, up Y, Y, right. Hmm, more jump clogs. Uh, I mean, what do you have? A slam hood? Hmm. I don't want to give her that, though. Okay, we'll give you the jump clogs, but then we'll uh, mess around with its customization. Okay, perfect. And I might as well give you, like, the, um... Brave Fate book. Because, like, I don't know what you had on yours before, but I'm assuming this is better. Arts knowledge, quick charge, yeah, no. Oh. Oh good, you have a paralyzed counter too. Because of course you do. Be cool if Charm could turn off counters or something. Like, you know, give me some way to counteract it instead of just having my healer constantly healing us of its effects all the time. Oh, fair run. Cool. We are going to need those, so it's good that we got them. Shit, I just hit the wrong... I meant to do that. Totally. Well, we've made it about a third of the way in. That's something. I'm sure we've uh, hit 15 by now. Yeah, easily. Not even block 39 yet. Pretty close though. The important one will be block 51 to 55. Because completing that mission gives us a really, 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 really good item. No, no, no! And there goes my Rengaku. <sighs> Got it back. Screw you, game. It's a horrible noise. Almost level 146. This is a dead end, isn't it? Got it.
Totally is. Oh, okay. I was like, so where do we go? Because <laughs> I completely missed a path. At least now we have speed plus 10%, so we can go 10% faster. That's usually how that works. I don't know why I pointed it out. Nine eighty nine. Yep. And no reason to kick any flowers right now. Okay, block thirty nine. Maybe I'm wrong about it being a hundred, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Also, Suzaku? Nope, rather it's the Ignis tail. Ow. Yeah, he's also weak to dual blades. Dual swords, excuse me. Maybe he doesn't have a freaking paralyzed counter like everyone else does. I didn't have a chance. Okay, well, they're all locked, so... Oh, no, it's because I'm in a trap room. Okay. Um, eh, let's go right. East, whatever. This is a dead-end room. Oh, you can't open the map in the little battle. I didn't know that. What are you doing over there? He's just kind of running against the wall. Alright, well, uh, anyway. Alright, so that was the dead end. Um, let's go north. This also appears to be a dead end. Alright, south it is. Hey, there they are. I was just wondering about them. Oh, this is... this is really bad. Okay. Ow. And for performing that, you get the Fairy Queen Orb. What does that do? Is that an infinite supply of... It is. It's an infinite supply of Fairy Orbs. Huh. I wonder if that'll uh, help me out through the rest of the, this place. Also Sorcerer Owl again. Okay.
And one fairy. Okay. We should be good now. I wonder if that knocks him out of Rengeki. It doesn't. Okay, cool. <laughs> Never had a situation pop up where both were active at once, so I've actually been curious this entire time how it would work. Ow. And one more level up. He's still only at four, so we're still good to use him. Let's heal up. And continue onwards into block 41. We're about four out of ten, two fifths of the way there. So, destroy 15 objects. Well, that's going to be really, really easy. So, one. These are gross looking. I feel like that dash has done nothing but hurt me rather than help me this entire time. It's a bone crusher. Bone crusher. It actually works because broadsword is like my, um, yeah. It's almost 10. Basically is what I'm trying to say. More importantly, they don't seem to be using Paralyzed Counter, so that's pretty nice. Only thing they seem to be doing is hitting with speed down, otherwise she wouldn't be using Apto so much. Oh, they also seem to be me into Charm. That's kind of a shame. Poison Drakes. I'm perfectly fine. I can I thought I'd gotten it high enough. Uh, let's do it.
Well, at least we're ending most of the fights with speed up. That's something. I'm back down to 950 gems. I need to fix that. Okay, on the next couple floors, I might actually need to go out and uh, make sure I get all the objects that I need. Carries again? No, these are these are the different one, aren't they? How'd that not hit them? So, my fiance's birthday, Carrie Ann Wright, um, is like tomorrow. So tonight we're heading to a comedy club for her. Um, never been to one, so it should be pretty interesting. Wee. More importantly, they'll have drinks there, and I'm not the freaking designated driver today. I don't know. Live comedy could be pretty cool. Don't know how I feel about it because you know I've never been exposed to it before. I'm a little, I'm a little excited though. This is a trap box. X A up and X B. Oh, a holy. Okay. Well, I guess I can give you one then. Um. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see. We've got the Holy Holy and the Absorb Holy. Absorb it is. Cool. I'm gonna need two of the light armor, though. Because I've not gotten one. Yeah, I've only gotten cowls. Nothing. Nothing but cowls. Fudge buckets. Okay. Eh. Nothing super great out of that one. I've also uh, gotten back into Hearthstone, though. <laughs> Much to my dismay. Uh, but I'm I'm just really into card games right now in general. I've only spent any m physical money on uh, physical product of both Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards. Uh, Magic: The Gathering. I've been doing Arena, but I haven't put a single cent into that. And ever since starting back Hearthstone, I haven't done any spending in that either, so. I'm, I'm doing good. Also, our Avatar Awakening leveled up. Mm, 984. That's probably still worth kicking a flower to. I wonder if they count as objects. That's, that's the, yep, that's the end. Okay. Let's just go over this way real quick. See if there's some objects to kick. Yeah, there's a couple right there. There's like three. That should fulfill my quota for this block. If I average like five objects a block, uh, we should, we will have five more than we should. So, we'll definitely be good. That thing exploded, like literally.
kind of funny that at some point we'll be getting dual guns when I don't use them ever. And for clearing the Forest of Pain you get a different set of dual guns. So. We'll probably never really see the intermediate one in action. But we'll, we'll see. I might try and double trigger a boss just to show it off. I like getting Apto, like, after every battle, though. It's, uh, it's actually been pretty nice. Also, not getting paralyzed half of the time is, uh, pretty nice as well. Alright, 43. Just gotta kick a few more, I think. I haven't actually been keeping count. I probably should've, but it's fine. Gob Cannon 77s. That's a blast from the past now, isn't it? Oh, they can be charmed though. Rob, 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 Let's go this way. Ah, yep, this is an optional path, so it works out. Oh, jeez, chain whip. The thing I could never run Geki ever. <clears throat> but luckily we have Endurance here, so. <coughs> I can imagine there will be a set of dual blades that is better than empty skies at least. Actually, I'll probably be using double trigger on the final boss, won't I? I wasn't even thinking about that, but that is actually a thing that'll probably happen. Yeah, it's a shame I couldn't get through the Forest of Pain at any point this week, but it was just too busy. Yeah. Still can't seem to Rengeki that guy. Almost 147 now. Is that enough? Need to make sure I get at least one more room with objects in it. Hmm, none that I can see. Oh, uh, right. I'm definitely not getting the Rengeki on the chain with this time around. <laughs> There's an object back there. Also a chest.
This is probably the end. Yeah, it is. Which means we need to go this way. Oh, wait, there was an object right there. How did I miss that? Oh yeah, that's right. I I completely forgot about this, didn't I? Now that we have the Fairy Queen's Orb, I need to remember to use the Fairy Orbs more often so I can burn through them. And then we'll use the Fairy Queen's Orb from then on. That'll make every dungeon from here on out, like in Volume 4 especially, so much quicker. But it's not like I cheated. I I got that fair and square. Uh, Forest of Pain has some pretty sweet items in it. Um... That was that was a misclick. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Well, there was an object in here. That's something. Uh, man, this is the second to last one too. This could actually be a little close. Yeah, it even tells you like where the exit is and everything. God, that's so good. Okay. Wait, is this a locked room? No, okay, I opened it. That's right, that's right. Because over here is the hallway. It's the final hallway. Da -da -da -da. Anyway. It'd be really cool if we could get an infinite fairy rain or something. Because uh, then I could probably unequip the thing from Shino and just use that forever. Uh, right, Fairy Queen Orb. Do, 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 do. I wish you could map these to buttons. Okay. Ow. 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 Oh yeah, I hit a new level on that. Also, it does go further. Even further beyond. Also been uh, binging Dragon Ball Super with my friend Squishy. And, um, it's, Dragon Ball's pretty great. <laughs> I haven't been into it for the longest time, ever since I was like, Pretty young, but uh, I've definitely gotten back into it hardcore. We binged the entirety of Kai, and now we're doing the same with the uh, Super. We're already up to the um, the Black Arc. I don't want to give too many spoilers in case anyone's you know watching it, but it's a pretty sweet arc. I don't know about the one before it because I literally fell asleep in the middle of it. But hey, At least it had Vegeta sucking on a pacifier. That's something. Anyway. I forgot to watch the cutscene. Yeah, I had a feeling he'd bring Geki too. Luckily, we have quick charge, so. Um, bop. Okay. <laughs> Alright, a couple more battles like that will do it. Yes, 15. Okay, cool. I don't have to go to that last room then. Water Tower and Windrake. Uh, give up on it. 
I wonder if, even though I can't access my storage, if I can access it to at least sell things. Probably not, though. Nope, we can at least sell and store. Okay. In that case, uh, boy do I have a lot. Actually, we're gonna keep most of the drakes in case I can make them more strong. More strong? Stronger than the, um, the thing. Uh, no, keep the wrath one. Mmm, I don't need that, though. Uh... These I might be able to make strong. No, 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 no. But yeah, Drake plus five might be enough to. Oops. Can I at least look at stuff in here? I can. Okay, cool. Because I, I didn't want that. Um. But any weapons that are like. Um, we'll probably keep drain. Yeah. Well, no, don't sell too many of those if you're going to give one to, um, what's-his-face then there. I don't have any, uh, other fist people. Well, actually, we're about to get one. Um, towers are good. Cows are good. I, I don't need, like, any of the diamonds. I've got too many of these. I've also got way too many of the Imperials, but... Also, all the ball things, I don't need. We'll just get down to 60 and I'd call that good. Because this is a really slow process. Okay. We're good. Let's go. And for destroying 15 objects, we get 20 more restoring rain. And there they are. So very nice. Alrighty. Uh, what's the boss of the day today? A turtle? Question mark? And use up that fairy rain. Maybe give her a couple of... was. Oh. Huh. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I also have Chicha potions. I guess I'll keep those. Um, what's a holy potion do? Not as much as you'd hope. <laughs> Not even close to as good as the Chicha potion. Are you kidding me? Eh, one per. One for each should be good enough. Alright. And now we have the Megalo Adamant. I wish I had a crush weapon right about now. That actually has a really, really long wind up. Um, can you r get that off me? No? Okay. Oh, now you do it. Thanks a lot, Chino. Okay, now we can actually do a little bit of damage to him. <laughs> Ugh, the fact that he has that seal counter is just gonna be the most annoying thing ever. I wonder if I have enough sodas to be able to, like, get that off. Oh, because now she's sealed. Uh, which one of these? Solution. <sighs> That's not nearly fast enough.
Damn it! This is the worst boss. This is easily the worst boss thus far. I think if I use charge attacks though, um, it doesn't hit you with the counters. So it's something I'll probably have to try. <clears throat> but that's block 45 cleared. Oh yeah, that's right. Dual guns. I keep forgetting about them. Thank you. Cool. Still four. <laughs> She's she maxed out on staff. That's uh that's pretty funny. Alright. Okay. Well. No reason to dilly dally any longer. Let's uh, let's get going. She knows running a little low on SP, but we should be okay. So into block 46. An 80... Oh boy. Okay. Well, let's put on the uh, Soul Drake again. Equip said Soul Drake. And strategy tenacity for both. And pray that we don't run into something that can, you know, counter us with Paralyze or something. Because that would suck. A lot. But if we could run into like an armored or a flying enemy, that would be really good. You know, like, not these. Still, they have 5,000 HP, so... He is being a combo-breaking asshole, though. Then again, he has a lot of health. As long as he stays charmed, we should be okay. Sixty. Booyah, eighty. That was pretty easy. All things considered. Well, now we can just do whatever. So let's uh. That was good for SP though, because you know no one was using any. It was an 80 hit combo, right? I hope so. If I if I ruined it by doing that, I'd be very sad. But then all we'd have to do is again. Yep, okay, we're good. And aware to spell. That's neat, I guess. Oh yeah, that's right. Um wait, have we run into a fork? Uh, let's wait until we do that, at least. Keep things, um... Moving along, because I have a hard time finding those fairy orbs in my inventory all the time. But... Other than that... Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lost in your eyes again. That's not even close to how that song goes, what? Also, what are they regening? Oh, health. Okay. That's a little annoying, but at the same time, kind of useful for that, uh, that quest. And if you want to ensure you definitely hit that combo, um, probably bring, like, Alcade or someone. Because dual swords, you know, I mean, you just saw how many combo hits it is. It's 
it's just pretty insane. Yeah. It was. 974. Well, I guess that's enough of a reason to kick over a flower. Oh, it's king. This also means I'll be maxed after this, but, you know. Actually, no, I won't. I'll be, like, six short. Or, five. Five short. No. He drops 40. Okay, um, and there, we're now at a fork in the road, so let's go Fairy's Orb. Alrighty. Man, that's so useful. <laughs> so, uh, just bring like 40 Fairy's Orbs in here, use them on each floor, and then you'll have a Fairy's Queen, Fairy Queen's Orb waiting for you. On block 40, I think it was. And every five blocks, you don't even need them, so. Max. Okay. Maximum gym. Uh, let's see. Oh. <laughs> let's see. Stop glitching out. I actually got a surprise attack off like that. I'm about as shocked as you are, I'm sure. They also can't seal, so that's a bonus. I think I did like two Rengekis a piece. <clears throat> I can believe it. I got 60 experience out of that. 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 Okay. And we have a fork in the road, so... Ooh, sh pop. South it is. nothing in here. It's weird. Um. Right, well, let's just continue onwards, I suppose. 46. Wait, what? But we were... What? <laughs> did I... Did I break something? Because I could have sworn we were just on 46. Because we fought a boss on 45, didn't we? Okay, whatever. We'll just we'll just move forward. Watch the next one be 48, and it's like, uh, no, we were kidding.
Hope no one expects me to foot any part of the bill, because I'm like broke. Um... Right, I thought I already did that. Huh, that was weird. Okay. Now this is 47. Have I just... Have I just been using fairy orbs over and over for the same floor? <laughs> Am I that confused? Okay. I mean, it's a very distinct possibility, so we're just gonna go with it. I just had a thought. Hey, level 10. Nice. Um, I don't know if she has any. I don't know if I have any. No, all I've got is lodestones. Um, do I have any weapons with soul on them? Besides this. I guess not. Oh, that's right. Hers is a five-star weapon anyway. So I'd need to find a different staff first. 984. Eh, that's not really worth. I need more, like, noble drops and stuff. Can you please give me those? Be much appreciated. Well, I'm almost level 11 on all my statuses, so hopefully that means I can, like, get a... something. His regen mechanism is actually making it so I can just rank Eki him until the end of time. And because of that, we're able to get quite a lot of experience. Anyway, we need to open this up and then use another orb. To the west. Yeah, they'll be fine. I keep skipping it. I'm pretty sure it hasn't changed, though. Especially if it hasn't hit max level. Oh, he knows, like, Lower Up or whatever. That's cute. You're dead. Oh, trap chest. Ooh, good trap chest. Yeah, 
And we gotta heal some. And onwards to block 48. Oh, long live lords. Which also have a regen. SP and HP both. I wonder if there's a stronger version of the SP regen for accessories out there. They also have healing spells, which make it even more annoying. <laughs> Got a vital dispel. And I keep forgetting the fairy orbs are these things. Uh, up and then west. Okay. I would hope so. Ow. Eight hundred seven out of a thousand. Ow. I mean, I could, but it, it's a single dude. Oh, that's a flower. And that's a trap chest. A comet. But I gotta save that for Sakuba. <laughs> Hopefully we can get a second one somewhere. Either way, uh, let's move on to block 49? Yes, okay, good. Thank you. Alright. Okay, not touching it this time. Unless I see it's just the same uh, thing over and over. It is, okay. I had to make sure about the level nine one will probably change it though. Mm. Excuse me, but hmm, man, what has gone into me? I haven't even eaten anything today. <laughs> Four HP. Did you die already? Thank you. I'm not really a fan of no encounter unless I hit level 150, in which case I might think about it. But at the same time, uh, it will still allow me to level my... It's like the same design over and over. Um, it will allow me to level my um, skills still, so...
Ow. If I set Shino to life, she won't get sealed either, so. There's no way to prevent entrance from getting sealed, so. His normal attacks are what I need anyway to bring Geki. And then hopefully the next boss won't be uh, as annoying. Ow. At least we're burning through the floors a little quicker. Just A A A A. Fate book. It's not what I needed. And for performing that 80 hit combo, you get healing tonics, which I assume max health. Which I assume do something. Where are they? Yeah, okay. I've actually already gotten some, so before. That is. Uh, Noble Drops. Some for her, a couple for me, and one for Endurance too, why not? Why does it just stop sometimes? It's, it's really weird. Like, sometimes it gives you that prompt and sometimes it just doesn't. Uh, so, Strategy Life. And then I will spring my dual guns upon him. Wait, what? Oh crap, it's a whole different boss! Wait a minute. It's Tabby, isn't it? That's right, her tail's in her hair. It's freaking weird. Hello? She fell asleep. She's asleep. First she calls me up, then she's not where she said she'd be, and now she's lying here fast asleep in the middle of a place like this. Why are you staring at my dick? Oh, I guess we get a little bonus for bringing Sheena along. That's pretty cool. It's, it's all part of the plan. Actually, we might be. <coughs> Probably dead, or at least missing. <clears throat> oh, good. Hmm. 
able to help, even if he had talked to me. But, but I might have been able to help. He said he just disappeared. Maybe that's why. Huh? Because he had you and Haseo around to shield him. Obon could concentrate on keeping a very low profile. Hmm. Shino. It's all well and good, but it still doesn't make me feel very happy. I feel so left out. the world so I could study to be a nurse, remember? Totally. I got into it for Shino at first, but it seems like it really suits me. One of these days. It's fun to be able to do something I'm gonna have to, like, else. you know. That's why I think I can try so hard. Like you, Haseo. I'll watch Dot Hackerts. That's what I was, that's what I was going for. I'll be coming to the world. That's all I wanted to say. Yep. Concentrate on those boobs, game. It's, it's good. Good job. Well, I'm logging off. You're going already? We have a test the day after tomorrow. What can I do? I'm happy that I got to meet the two of you. is uh, pretty hard, right? Are you sure you can keep up with the studies and all? <laughs> what? Well, Haseo, it looks like you're perplexed at your thoughtfulness and surprised that it feels nice at the same time. Am I right? something she wants to do better keep moving <laughs> and engines is just like oh i was just busy staring at the wall over there while you did that and we got an email from tabby oh the boss is still here <laughs> and here i was thinking i got off scot free for floor 50 but i guess i'm wrong all right well justice We never actually got to see, like, judgment, have we? This is some pretty good damage, actually. And they're just plus one. Granted, we don't want to put any more cheat codes into any dual guns because we're about to get, like, the final one pretty soon-ish. It's it's for beating the forest of pain, so it'll probably take a while actually. This is definitely much easier now that I can do this without having to worry about getting sealed all the time though. It's also some pretty decent damage. I 
think I said that already, though. Um... <clears throat> Should be pretty close to our next, um, awakening. Sweet. And that does like 2,000 damage to him. So he's pretty close to getting finished off. Oh yeah, I've also got a CD in the mail, that's right. I need to go pick up a Nostalgia 5. Emily's newest cover album. I'm pretty excited for that one. And Bone Crusher to finish him off. <clears throat> I'll even stay in Broadsword. And level 148 for everybody. It's not possible to warp directly to any block after 51. Interesting. Um, okay. Well, it's not like I was planning to leave anyway, so... Um, what was I doing? This, I guess? Maxed out. And she's in orange now. Okay, um... We've already got Pi maxed, so... Ooh, defense up. It's a shame that doesn't last through this thing. But anyway. Alright. Uh, so we need someone that's not Endurance. Already got Coon maxed. Uh, I could bring Solo Bro, I suppose. Or Alcade. Um. You know what? Let's bring Alcade in case I need to... Oh. Uh. Oh my god. Okay. Hold on. So you have to go in here first. Remove him from the party. All the memories that involve you to be wrapped in everything that's you. Let me close my eyes until the next time you call upon me. That's a little weird. <laughs> Thanks for the invite. I'll be right there, so just hang on a bit. Alright, and I'm going to assume that you need... Uh... The drakes that I've been holding on to. Yeah. Alright, um, let's give her poison. And I think that's about all I can give her. Actually, no. Because um, she can most certainly make use of the dispels that I've been getting. Uh, holy? Holy's fun. Actually, wait. What's Remedy? Does that do what I think it does? Anti-poison. That's it? Okay. <laughs> And here, I was hoping it was, uh, something a little better than that. Mmm. <laughs> that one's pretty good, though. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think I also need to give her the, the fate book that I got. Okay. We're all set. Oh, 14 dual swords, so she's got a bit of a ways to go. Alrighty. Let us continue onwards. Into block 51. We've made it to the halfway point. Finally. Man, the forest of pain is long. Okay. Uh, perform 18 skill triggers. Defeat 6 enemy parties. Clear while being KO'd 3 or times or less. Perform awakening 4 times. Okay. I was not expecting to suddenly be bombarded with four things to do, but it shouldn't be too difficult. The main thing is clearing... No, actually the main thing is the awakenings, I think. Did I get to keep my morale gauge at least? I did, okay, cool. Eighteen skill triggers won't be that hard. Poison counter is uh, a tad annoying, though. Oops. Um, this. Okay. 
And because we're able to Rengeki off of these things without too much issue, um, I should be getting Awakenings pretty frequently as well. This does mean I'm gonna have to, like, kill everybody, though. Eh, everything's still alive. That counts. As long as it's just poison, we should be okay. If anything seals, I'll switch to dual guns. Oh wait, she's still in life, isn't she? I mean, if I get, like, an awakening per enemy party, we should actually be okay. Oh. Uh, if I need to defeat six of them, and I'm fighting two per block... Nah, we should be good. If I feel like I'm not getting close enough in the next couple floors, uh, like 43, 44, or 50, 53, 54, um, that was a, that was an accident. <laughs> but hey, that's a, that's another skill trigger. So it works out. Also, um, Goblin Shaman. Looks like a Hearthstone card. Uh, Lotus Flower. Won't be getting as many Rengekis without Mr. Endrance around, but... At the same time, it's not like we're getting none, so... Oh. He actually died. Lame. That one didn't, though. Goblin Knight. Looks like a shaman to me. Um, I'm, I'm not going to lose Awakening on a single enemy. Are you kidding me? I don't care if that is the quest. The poison counter is starting to get a little irritating, though. I am not going to lie. Wait, was that... was that okay just now? Do you know Far Rep? <laughs> no, okay, that was Sheena. Half... had to make sure because I... I was very confused for a half a moment. Alright, um, we might end up having to fight at least one optional fight. So let's do it on the next floor. <clears throat> at least with this one I can start, um, with an awakening. So, did I see my fiance's post? No, because I never opened Facebook. <laughs> okay. I really should just stop leaving my Facebook thing in my uh, descriptions. There's no reason for it. I never use it. Eighteen skill triggers will be the easiest thing ever to accomplish. As per usual. Almost clicked the wrong one. Everyone's poisoned. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, hmm. I hope I can get Whirlwind soon. That would be cool. 
Oh, she's getting two SP per love uh per tick now. How about that? That's actually gonna help immensely. Um, ooh, two rare gems. Well, if we fight three enemy parties in this one uh, block, then we should be okay. And I've always gotten extra backup just in case. Oh my god, with the juggling. Okay, um, that poison counter is actually getting a little dangerous. Yeah, we'll be fighting three here, so... Wait, hold on. No, we won't, actually. Okay. Let's open this one up. Build up a bit more awakening. So regain control, damn it. Having combo centric enemies is actually uh, kind of annoying because it's knocking me out of Rengeki chances. I also forgot to use Noble Drops on, um, <laughs> Shino. <coughs> oh, shit. Well, that's one. All oh, right, I can't use items when I need him dead. I need him dead ASAP. Okay, this is getting dangerous actually. So we're going to um. And then use like three noble drops on Shino. Cool. Okay. Um, I need everyone with anti-poison. Because this is not working. I hope I didn't just toss everything that had that. Because I will feel pretty stupid.
Hmm. Anti-curse. Venom counter, sadly, does not equal a... Okay. So, if I give it to Alcade and myself, we should be okay. Uh, cleansing pill. Anti-seal could be good. Fire counter. Yeah, let's go with fire counter. Um, okay. And for sales, he's got that magic minus 10%, so if I put anti-poison there, we should be good. Okay. And just to make sure, that makes it so I can't be poisoned. Yes, nullify poison. Okay, good. And Chino can keep herself alive, so... Yeah, we should be good now. Besides, if it's only one person getting poisoned, I feel like I can handle uh, the management of that. Perform Awakening four times has also been achieved, so we don't need to go out of our way to kill anything anymore. Because I need to make extra sure that I freaking complete this, so... Him and the Elite Lizard are really irritating enemies, though. And I've gotten all the skill triggers I need to, so I could probably just avoid everything from here on. I'm gonna guess it's to the west. No, south. So we're trying to sneak around them. Switch Shino to um life. I also have three enemies, so I guess I could do that. that that burns through sp way too fast because now she has nothing <sighs> Oh. 
As far as I know, we've only had one KO, so. We should be okay on the KOs. That's a terrible joke. I apologize. <laughs> right. No, I needed the knockback one, actually. These enemies actually have a lot of health. Like, an uncomfortably large amount. Almost out of healing potions, finally. Granted, I might need to use, like, a couple of restoring drops, just to make sure I'm going through those a little bit, too. Whoops. Almost fucked that up. Oh, yeah, that's right, the Master's Book. I forgot all about that. I definitely don't want to use it with Sheena in the party, considering she's already maxed out. So. Hmm. And I'm gonna miss the Rengeki because that took too long. God, that's so fucking irritating. Let this be a lesson though, if you want to go into the first to pain, I'd recommend having all the anti-status items, because this is, I've noticed, also not getting me hit by counters. Or just use dual guns the entire time. I mean, you know, I'm not going to stop you. Also, Haseo's almost max level. Oh, those are noble drops, weren't they? That's good. Oh, God. Oh. Did it. And we get the DGY. Which is slightly weaker somehow. What? It's probably because I had this on cheat level one. Uh, alright, well. Either way, this has the Godspeed bullet, which reduces skill trigger recharge time. So, you know. <laughs> Plus, they'll probably look cooler. Alright, so our enemy is a giant dragon thing, it seems like. And one for Alcade, and... Um, what was it called? Pure Medallion. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. So this is Yasmat. Nope, it's actually Dryamramras. I 
I'm pretty sure this isn't different. Yeah, it looks the same. Okay, I had to make sure. 2,000 of them. He's, he's, he's too big. Oh, he has a paralyzed counter. Yeah, I'm, I'm not about that. Also, this is the DGY. Looks pretty cool, right? Um, oh, okay, I guess we'll rank Eki as well. Oops. That, that was wrong. That's fine. And trigger finish, because I kept forgetting. Okay, cool. Damn, Lysos does uh, quite a lot of damage to him, actually. Need to make sure you're not on the side when you do that, though. <laughs> that was uh, that was pretty painful. Ooh, good timing. And the barrier is deactivated. As long as we can save every five blocks still and switch our party. Well, that's good. Five orange, three yellow. Alrighty. I wonder if being in the second slot affects that. That'd be really weird if that was the case. But I'm, I, it feels like she's going faster now. Huh. Well, anyway. Uh, let's just continue on, though. Alright, so, um, we're probably going to need, well, we don't need any of that, but I do need to give her, like, a Noble Dropper, too. Okay, what's this? Six treasures or trap boxes, seven enemy parties, KO'd three times, and performing four times. Okay. Performing four times. Performing Awakening four times. Uh, luckily we've already got one charged up, so, what the flying flapjacks were those? It was treasure boxes specifically, right? Anyway, we have a couple of enemies here. One's the trap spore. And the other is some more masks, dudes. Face bugs. Alright. I can't tell what kind of counter they're doing. They don't seem to have encounters of any kind, so we could probably switch the customizes back. Um, yeah. I 
I kind of like the fire counter though. It fits her. Even if it's not very good. Oh, revive potion. That's uh, that's pretty useful. <laughs> Especially considering the bosses in these places will be pretty tough customers. Oh, they have a sleep counter, actually. The Fierce Hisa. Ooh. North is... Another trap room. No? Oh, that's the way I came from. <sighs> Did he just drain me? Right, she's a little behind in levels, so of course she's... She's not that far behind, though. But she has such a small amount of health. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. Uh, do I have any of the Vigor things around that I can steal off of? Or is, was it vital? It's Vigor. Just 
Just the Vigor Marker. I'm gonna keep it for Haseo Oh, seven. I'm gonna need to actually kill an extra one, I think. Well, no, because there should be a third enemy party in here. <clears throat> yeah, we'll be fine. What the crap is that thing? It's like a Grim Reaper mixed with a monkey. Oh yeah, the Horn Jigal. That's right. They are super gross. You'd think the dual guns would be really good against flying enemies, but you'd be wrong. I saw her asleep, so I'm assuming sleep counter is still in effect. I'm sorry, wait, did that say heal man gloves? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay. That is a cannon. Got the chain drake. What does that do? Jet speed attack. Increased chance to Rengeki. Oh. Hey, Alkaid, I've, I've got a present for you. Actually, I'll just give you the chain drake itself. Cool. Alright, now I can have entrances effect without having entrance here. Six treasures or trap boxes. Should be doing fine on that. I've opened uh, definitely more than a few. 58. Oh yeah, we've got like three more on the way, so we'll be fine.
Almost forgot. And that should fulfill my awakenings. The Drake is a pretty cool looking uh, dual sword though. And Avatar Awakening level 9. Got a Rush Drake too. What's that do? Surprise plus 25. That's, that's pretty awful actually. Hmm. <laughs> X down, B, X, Y down, left, up. Okay. And we got the Drain Cloud. The, like a rain cloud, but draining. Avatar Awakening and six boxes. We just need to kill seven parties of enemies and we are golden. And we should be pretty much on track for that. So. There was, there was no way to surprise these guys. Ow. Ow. Getting there. You can even see there's a teeny tiny sliver right there at the dual guns <laughs> for the couple of times we've used justice. Get the heel super belt. Nifty. Oh, it's a king. And one more dodge. Kick. Perfect. Yeah, that's the blue one's the one we want. And that's seven enemy parties. And we're only on block 58, so... Yeah. We were fine. Uh, block 59. Let's try and avoid enemies if we can. But I know we won't be able to, so... It's, it's fine. Trap room. Oh. Of course they'd be, like, right on top of it, too. Just, just to make things more annoying. And back into dual guns. And awakening just for shits and giggles. We have 259 virus cores. <laughs> oh, we had a Rengeki and then he died. A godly potion. If I had to guess, that's probably going to be 
A hundred SPHP for all allies? Wow, that's pretty awful. <laughs> what? We're getting a lot of these cannon ones. And they're not the easiest thing in the world. Another monarch. Is it any better than the one I've got? I, mm, it's pretty good, actually. Alright. I can probably avoid these guys. Yeah. Go me. Yep, it's this one. Okay. Shino, please stop getting hit by everything. What are you doing? And we get uh, Revive Storms, Nil Strike, Mind Butterfly, and Battle Cosmetics. Battle Cosmetics? Oh, that's Morale Boost. Okay. Cool. And we're obviously going to want to heal up because pain. Um, Pure Medallion. Uh, wait a minute. I've got those healing reins. They're 100, aren't they? And noble drops. One for Seo. One more for Shino. One for Alcade. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Should be the same dragon guy. Yep. That was doing zero damage because I was too far. <clears throat> Ow. I think I'm on this side. Nope. Okay. That worked. Avoid his death beam. More often for Rengeki's is definitely better than morale boost. Hands down. But of course if you only have one or the other. I might give that morale boost to um Shino. I'm I'm of two minds of it though. Ooh. For the finisher. Level 9 Avatar Awakening. Let's go. It's still the same. Okay. Had to make sure. And boom, level 150. And we just got a trophy for that as well, or an achievement. Knows no bounds. It's our max. 135 physical attack. It's not bad. Alrighty. Up to pink already? I, I think it really might actually affect it. That's That'd be really dumb if that's the case. But that is all for this episode of Let's Play dot hack gu volume three last recode um join me next time when we head further into the forest of pain probably to the end maybe i don't know we only made it like what 
35 blocks today, so. Uh, we started on 25. Yeah, yeah, about 35. Um, I'm, I will try and find some time this week to finish this off so we can actually get into Volume 4 next week, but we'll see what happens. Until then, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, ring the little bell for notifications on all my uploads. Um, check the links in the description below for links to my Twitch and Twitter accounts. And that'll give you more information on my streamings. Alright, and I do see you there, Squishy. Uh, we'll talk in a bit. Until then, later, guys. <sighs> This is definitely called the forest of pain for a reason. Fuck. <laughs>